friends, it's Nancy, and I'm here to do a flip through of the completed chocolate journal that I've been working on for the last, oh, week and a half or so. <clears throat> so, um, she's a big girl, uh, ten and a half inches, I believe, just, just about ten and a half by seven and a quarter, and her spine is just about two inches wide. Uh, so I created this journal using a vintage Whitman sampler box that I got at an auction a couple weeks ago. And I have used lots and lots of handmade lace in this journal. So um, the spine is a curved, uh, hidden, hidden hollow back spine uh, which I've covered with fabric and then added this piece of crochet um, and on the edges there's lots of lace and doodads hanging there so let's just go through this together um, on the inside cover I've got this hand crocheted doily and I've pinned on this little sprig of flowers that came out of a vintage uh, wedding bouquet. And inside I've tucked this um, vintage photograph. And I cut this baker's chocolate recipe from a 1940s Life magazine. So I've just got that tucked in there for some journaling as well. Now... Um, if you have been watching, you know that um, my um, hmm, my inspiration, I guess, was this um, Whitman's ad that I um, I used to have, but now I don't have. This is actually a a, um, a print that I printed off the internet. Anyway, so what I was thinking about was, um, you know, saving keepsakes and um, looking at uh, time go times gone by and um, the World War II years, and that's that's where I got my inspiration. So the fabric is uh, good quality quilting cotton and so I've done the inside covers the back of the spine the outside spine all with the same fabric this first page has um, the inside of the box stitched to a piece of ledger a uh, vintage ledger and um, I've got paper doily there and this image came from a box of chocolates that I got um, at a thrift store that was full of uh, quilt squares. So I uh, um, I kept the box and fussy cut out this picture. Um, this little guy here is the the messenger boy that is a um, trademark of Whitman's. So I just punched him out and uh, made a little little charm with him. This is vintage hand crocheted pillowcase lace that I've adhered all around. Um, there is, um, seven signatures. I should probably show you that. There's seven signatures. Each signature has one piece of, uh, scrapbook paper that has been tea dyed, but I was looking for something that looked like old wallpaper. So this sort of reminded me of old dingy wallpaper. And, um, here's another piece of ledger that's been tea stained and when it was stained the red ink washed off and just left pink I thought that was really cool this is a piece of um, drawing paper and I've ironed on some cross stitch pattern that I got from an old an old McCall's um, cross stitch pattern and I just ironed a bit on there for some um, decoration. This is from an old uh, 
school workbook. This envelope is um, an old envelope from 1942. So I've uh, I just sort of reinforced the bend here and otherwise left it the same. Here's a piece of music um, that is of the World War II era. And here's the rest of that um, envelope. So this was mailed from the Canadian Bro Broadcasting Corporation on uh, June 11, 1942. So this actually contained a, a map, a world map that showed World War II battle sites. Um, my son took that home and he has it framed and hanging in his apartment now. Uh, but there, there was this logo bigger on the envelope and you'll see that further on. So we're just seeing the back. Um, now the, the scrapbook paper, it's only 12 inches wide and I needed about 14 and a half inches. So thinking back to World War II and how important it was to make do and mend, um, not waste anything, I used some leftover paper and created a little, um, um, an extension so that it would um, be interesting and make use of the scraps like uh, any good housewife of World War II would have. Here, this is um, part of a broken earring, and it has some little rhinestones. This is from a 1940s uh, Life magazine, so I fussy cut that out to make this pocket. This is a, a photograph. Tucks in there. Papers are similar. Here's um, an old um, atlas. So I got, uh, I picked out um, maps that would be important in the sense of um, North America and the European part of the of World War II. So there's England and Ireland. Well, actually, that's Scotland and Ireland, um, British Isles, North America, North America. Uh, some more school notebook paper, music. Here I've made this little pocket out of a vintage doily, and in I've opened it and clipped it here with this um, little wishing wishing bone wishbone whoa this little silver wishbone with a rose so i've got that pinned in there and here's another picture and this is a february 1943 calendar just tucked in there for extra journaling um and this is an ad out of um an an old 1942 i believe um magazine scrap of paper. Here's a little tuck spot. This is uh, music paper. This is another ad out of a Life magazine and um, it lists the different kinds of, of um, assortment of chocolates that you would get in a Whitman sampler. And on the back I've just adhered some tea stained paper so that you could use it for journaling. It's funny, my husband was going through the uh, flip through himself on his own and he started singing this song. <clears throat> Again, this is the back of that magazine ad, so I, it was a car ad, so I added some tea stain paper for journaling. And here's the other half of that uh, um, Whitman's advertisement. This is a 
altered paper clip. So I've used some vintage stamps as a collage. It's got a little piece of lace and a word snippet that says indulge. Another flip out. Um, here's a little silver heart on a pin. It has a little rose embossed on it. Um, the envelopes are from World War II era, so this was 95, 45, 44. And so this one, this is a, um, an index card that a salesman would have used. So he would have kept track, or she would have kept track of, of her um, sales calls. And this is uh, from the Mount Royal Hotel in Montreal. This um, has a picture of a, a family with Sailor Dad. So these are authentic letters and I've just sewn around them. Here's a little tuck spot and I just added this photo in there. There's a couple more envelopes. This one has a card, a postcard from the War Department. This is official business. And um, this is going into a envelope that says, um, uh, I don't know what OHMS Her Majesty's Service, His Majesty's, I don't know, something. And this is a, a little um, mailing tag that I've I've put on some card for journaling. And that's a 1942 postmark. And the postmark has a little um, Union Jack and encouraging people to enlist now. This one has a double doily. This one I've got held open with, uh, with a, a little silver colored locket that opens up. And this one I've just tied open with a little piece of lace. I've made this uh, journaling card with an ad for tea. And this is um, a little journaling tag from a magazine ad. Here's Tuck Spot from an ad from a vintage magazine. I fussy cut out this cherry picture from a, a a Life magazine ad and I didn't know exactly what I was going to do with it but now that I had it cut out I had to put it in this journal because I loved it so much <laughs> so I just found a home for it this is a recipe book for uh, Apple recipes and um, so you open it up and I just cut another piece of paper so that you could journal inside but still and on the back, but still see the image there because I think the graphics are awesome. Apple pie, it's good for you. I agree. Here is a magazine page with Shirley Temple doll paper dolls. Um, I just added a piece of paper to give you some journaling space. The back has some images of Shirley Temple from her movies. Here's the back of that apple. Uh, this is wartime and it says, um, Serve apples daily and you serve your country too. And again, I put a piece of paper here. This is for tracking weather. And another beautiful image. Love it. Another flip out. This came from a vintage magazine. And um, this is also a vintage magazine ad. I loved this because this looks exactly like my mom's hope chest and mom used to keep 
like photos and um remember she had like my sister's baby hairbrush and stuff like that in it uh so all of her little keepsakes she kept in her her cedar chest and it was elaine um so you know thinking about keepsakes and remembering i i wanted to use this ad so it just tucks in here <clears throat> here's a little photo of a, a couple here's an ad of a chocolate bar and um, this is a altered paper clip that I made using that CBC radio um, logo from the envelope and I just put a little bit of vintage um, uh, seam binding there this is a little tuck spot. Those are Whitman's heart boxes. Whoop. Got two pieces of paper in there. There we go. Here's Europe, England, North America, Canada. Um, and the color here, this is natural aging. It's not inked or anything. Here we have another flip out. This one I've got a little gold heart on a pin and a couple of ads. This one's for Baker's Chocolate Cocoa. Here's a little coupon. You could write away and get a, um, tr oh, the My Party Book. Oh. Anyway, so this was uh, for chocolate recipes. There's another little tuck spot using a fussy cut chocolate box. Um, uh, this I'll bring up a little closer. So these are photos that I got at a nostalgia show. And there's two little toddlers here and they're holding a newspaper that says, um, peace, war ends in victory as Japan surrenders. So I just uh, adhered those two photos in and I used my Denison mending tape to um, add some interest by taping them in there. I uh, was at a, um, an antique mall yesterday and they had a roll of this Denison tape. They wanted $14 for it. I nearly died. <laughs> This is just a belly band, and I used, um, this is from a Whitman's advertisement. This is a, an old needle book, and I adhered some tea dyed, tea dyed paper in there, so you could use it as a, a journaling spot. A little corner tuck from an ad, and a tag piece of thread there this is an envelope from a record um, and here where the, the cutout would be just so you could read with the record I took a picture from a little booklet about submarines and the tears in there so it looked like you were looking through a periscope <laughs> and could see the ship and I did the same thing here on this side, but I, I fussy cut the captain. He's looking out the periscope, and that's what he sees through the periscope. Um, I adhered this side to a piece of paper, music paper, to make this envelope. And I put in this vintage ad for brownies. And this is a coin envelope. There's nothing in it, but you could certainly put something in there, but I've covered in in lace and stitched around it. This is just a little fussy cut from a magazine ad. Here's another tuck spot from Whitman's. 
and a final doily in the back and I've just tucked that soldier in there and that's the back of the journal so that's uh this looks really neat when you open it and you can sort of see the waterfall effect of the the lace um and I'm glad I took my time selecting where to put this lace because it just it came out perfect in my mind. <laughs> All right, little guy, you just hang in there. So as much as I enjoyed creating this, um, I'm ready for it to go to its new home to somebody who enjoys history and keepsakes and, um, and chocolate. So if you're seeing this video, it has been listed on my Etsy and please go take a look and see if there's anything you're interested in. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you again soon.